so good morning it's uh, and it is the morning it is half past four in the morning in the second half of the year 22nd of June this morning so uh, the day after the longest day and it's uh, my first morning shoot of the year so we've done well to to stay over last night in uh, in the van a comfortable night actually not too bad and um, I'm going to go back to the vantage point I was on last night and see if I can uh, see if I can make the same image but for sunrise rather than for sunset I was that taken with the uh, with the scene last night I decided when I got back to the van I would stay here in this comfortable little sheltered lay-by it was actually quite a such a calm night really not a breath of wind no nobody's been passed it's uh, so quiet so quiet and so fresh as well it's absolutely glorious um, so it was about 20 degrees last night when I was here and I think it's about six or seven degrees this morning so quite a difference but it's uh, yeah it's been a fantastic experience really so I'm gonna make the short walk up the hillside there and uh, back to my little vantage point and uh, we'll see what awaits us when we arrive and uh, let's just hope for some glorious light on those Scarfell on those Scarfell pikes and Scarfells and we'll uh, we'll hopefully make a nice image from there So here we are, a bit of deja vu, so it wasn't a few hours ago I was, I was here, I'm just going to make this sweeping panorama over here now, you can see this wonderful soft morning light, it's just about to come up over Crinkle Crags there, 20 past 5, um, so I'm just going to create this subtle panorama to complement the image I took yesterday, so I'm going to get on and, and make that, and, uh, and yeah, what a privilege it is to be out this morning. There's a bit of cloud just on the just on the distance there. What's uh, just by me a few extra minutes before we get the direct illumination on the mountains. But when we do, it's all going to ignite. I would imagine it looks absolutely glorious. brought my 90 millimeter lens as well today just because I felt last night this was a bit too close so I can uh, I can zoom out a little bit if I want to just by swapping lenses but initially I'm just going to take this image to go with the one from last night and then I might swap over then as well I've got beautiful streaks of light coming over the uh, the valley side there it's absolutely wonderful Right, I'm going to just do one more sweep across and then I've, I've got that and then I, I suspect the, uh, the sun is going to break through then. It's getting brighter with every frame. But, uh, okay, so same place, different day and different light and what a treat, an absolute treat to witness this. And like I always say, a treat to share it with you as well. It's uh, it's an absolute privilege to be able to uh, capture scenes like this. I'm really, really excited to uh, to make this image. So like I say, this is just an establishing shot really, just to get everything in the scene there and then I can crop around inside it if I need to. But yeah, really pleased. So this is a two to one aspect ratio crop now, just focusing in on Scarfell and Scarfell Pike there, the highest mountain in England, obviously. But just look at that that light absolutely glorious does it get any better than that from a, a light perspective i don't know if it does you know and these wonderful greens on the uh, foreground there with the ravine going up 
what a privilege it is to say I've made that. I'm so proud of that image and, uh, and staying over and getting there this early. Okay, so I'm just going to swap to my 45mm lens. I'm going to make some uh, wider perspectives now, just capturing more of this wonderful foreground. Still very subtle, the clouds rising with the sun, you can see the perfect circle of the sun there. It's, uh, it's above the, the horizon now, but there's a, like I say, there's a bit of diffusion with some clouds going on, which is just buying me a little bit more time of this subtle light. What I'm going to do actually, while it's still doing that, I'm just going to take that one. Right, what I'm going to do now is, while it's doing that, I'm going to set up and take this, this shot of the, the summit here because that's a lovely image I think from last night and I, I want to capture that with this wonderful subtle background so we'll do that now. Okay so just another take on this uh, wonderful mountain range here I just uh, it's the light it's just the light I mean obviously we've got a wonderful scene there uh, regardless of the light but just with that added ingredient of light it just brings it to life I've gone for like um, I wanted to create like a soft pastel look so it looked like almost like a painting I guess and very subtle very um, appealing in, in, in that regard and I think I've achieved that so I'm pretty pleased with how that's come out uh, really nice scene there so the sun is helping me out here with all the clouds helping me out it's just buying me a little bit more time of this diffuse light as soon as that cloud moves or the sun rises above it we're going to get some quite harsh direct light I would imagine and this is this light now is the best light you can ever have I think it's absolutely glorious and this is why this is why I need to do more morning shoots because this is just like light I've not seen for a long time it's absolutely glorious I'm going to swap to my 21mm because uh, I don't like the idea of doing this in sections if there's any issues with the stitch so I'm going to swap over now I can take this off that's every shot I've wanted okay so I'm focusing on my little uh, ridge rocks now and and just with the added component of that light absolutely glorious just those wonderful rocks as we saw in uh, in my previous visit from here where we've got these rocks running through up to the summit and I think I think investing the time last night in in visiting this place and then coming back so soon when all these ideas were fresh in my mind I've just been able to quickly get in position and set up the composition what I tried previous and uh, I'm absolutely delighted obviously this wider image here gets in uh, pointy bow fell on on the right hand side at, at the top edge there but what a beautiful scene I'm going to remember this shoot forever and and these images are testament to that and it's um, so I can't wait to do a big print of one of these images I'm suspect they're going to look absolutely glorious in a big oak frame or something that's um yeah i'm really proud really proud of how they've come out and uh, i can't wait to see them in print okay so here comes the direct sunlight that's absolutely unbelievable fantastic conditions going to go for a portrait orientation shot as well, I'll have a look at least. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, let's go for that one as well. Eh? This light is so subtle, it's beautiful. Really, really soft. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to swap back over to uh, my 45 mil now. Absolutely fantastic. clouds rising and hiding the sun it keeps coming out and going in just buying me more time it's coming back out again now here we go so I'm so lucky with the light this morning these uh, clouds doing me a huge favor by diffusing the sun as it was rising above crinkle crags just behind me here but yeah, taking advantage of this uh, this wonderful setting and making all these images, really nice to have um, some time, I guess, you know, given the time to, uh, to experiment with different compositions, different setups. And like I say, following on from uh, last night's shoot here, it, it helped me really in uh, collecting my thoughts and putting those together. And as you can see in this much wider scene here, we've got, um, I, I just love how that, Cairn there kind of signifies a change in the terrain so you've got some nice rolling soft hills to the left of the cairn and then to the right things get a bit more uh, aggressive if you will a bit more robust a bit more spiky in terms of the land but yeah we can analyze it whichever way we want but that the light in that is is glorious and i'm very pleased with the composition too okay so just a bit of an update for you here it's uh where are we now so quarter past six in the morning and uh the sun has well risen now but I've been absolutely blessed this morning because uh, as the sun's rose there above um, the fells to my left which is Crinkle Crags it was uh, there was a, a body of cloud what was kind of diffusing the sun and it was rising with the sun so what that meant was I got this soft diffused light for longer and I'm still getting it to be honest it's absolutely brilliant I've uh, I've made several shots with all my different lenses so my uh, 21 45 90 and 135 so it's been an absolute privilege this morning i've had um i've had an extended shoot thanks to the clouds so it's worked in my favor this morning so uh you can see patches of light everywhere it's looking i mean this is just the pinnacle for me it's absolutely the best and it's a good reminder if i needed one that these morning shoots are the real treat you know these these are the 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 times when we make the best images i think it's uh, glorious the light is so soft it's unbelievable you wouldn't believe it was summer it was just i mean the clouds are playing a big part in it but look at look all around it's absolutely glorious i mean this backdrop is just um, something else so i'm going to i'm just going to take a bit of time to have a wander around and because i've got some time and it's not as frantic as it is on the sunset i'm going to um i'm going to have a look and and see have a walk along this ridge here and see what we see but yeah it's uh i'll chat to you again in a minute when i've found something else but what an absolute privilege it is to be here it's really really special and uh, again another very clear day you can see over to the uh, the irish sea in every direction the isle of man over there it's really really beautiful anyway i'll uh i'll make some progress and i'll chat to you again shortly okay a bit of an update for you here this is uh this is carrying on to be one of probably the best mornings i've ever had for landscape photography we've got the uh the scarfell range behind there which is just illuminated by this wonderful soft warm light it's absolutely really <laughs> i don't think i've got the expletives to kind of describe how I feel about it really hopefully my photographs will do my talking but so I've moved on from where I was in the last take and I've come on to another little uh, little croft if you will or a little outcrop of rock and I'm uh, I'm like a child in a sweet shop and I keep saying that but you know I keep saying about rocks and undulating tops well that's exactly what this is and uh, but look at the backdrop I mean it's just outstanding so I've made a series of images with uh, my ultra wide angle lens and uh, I'll show you them now and we'll uh, we'll see what we think of those. 
Okay, some wider scenes now, and uh, like with previous shoots, I've been enjoying the uh, 21 millimeter, which is around about a 16 millimeter equivalent in 35 mil format. Um, but you're just surprised how much you can get in. I mean, look at that. That's so wide compared to my 45, what I, I prefer to use. But I quite enjoyed making these images, to be honest, and uh, a different approach, really. But I guess the same principle in filling the frame, but you can just get a lot more in, in one frame there. Um, I've obviously cropped that um, first portrait image into a square. I think it removes some of the... Uh, the, the empty foreground and some of the empty sky there where there's not much going on and just focuses our attention onto these wonderful rocks here. It's just like a table of rock, what was kind of growing out the ground, really. It was uh, it was quite a thing, really. I enjoyed um, walking around it for a bit, really, making a, a various compositions. And, uh, and yeah, this has been one of them. But then I moved on to make this, uh, this next image here where I got a little bit closer, like I say, filling the frame, getting really close to the rocks there. Um, I don't know if it's too exaggerated really for my typical style but I think uh, just nice to have a bit of variety really and, and change around I think the, the portrait orientation works pretty well for that shot with obviously look at that backdrop as well with Bowfell there on the right and over to Scarfell uh, I think a landscape uh, orientation is a, is a good option for this scene and here's my take on the landscape and I think this is probably my favourite image of the four what I've, I'm running through in this segment I look at that light there coming over um, Crinkle Crags on the right side and in between where Three Tarns is in between Crinkle Crags and below Bowfell there just such a magical moment when you get the right light but yeah just a, a very wide scene taking in lots of deep foreground interest up to these wonderful mountains and I'm absolutely delighted with that image very pleased indeed and then I've just taken some images with uh, the longer lens now so picking out various viewpoints in both directions the sun's well above the fells now but because the cloud is lifting with the sun it's really diffusing this scene what you can see in the background there it's really beautiful so I'm just going to explore this kind of crest what I'm on now and see if I can make another image from here but uh, I've just come across this big I don't know if you can see that there but like a shelf of rock which I'm hoping to um, to photograph I'm on the 90 mil now so I'm going to change back to the 21 and hopefully make a make a nice image with that it's absolutely glorious up here I mean where else in the world would I rather be now than right here the Lake District absolutely the best place in the world okay well I'll get on and uh, I'll maybe show you some more images shortly but I'm uh, I'm neglecting the vlog because this you know I am a landscape photographer and and I need to take advantage of moments like this so You'll have to uh, excuse me if this vlog isn't the usual style, but it's uh, you know it's it's me kind of taking advantage of this moment I've put myself in. So staying over last night was a very strong decision. It was a very good decision on my part, and um, yeah, I mean, what a beautiful morning! Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, look, I'm going to crack on because uh, this light won't last forever. Okay, looking at some details now. So this is um, Bowfell, and I think that's Bowfell Links, the um, the rocks just below the uh, the ridge there, where it's all kind of cut away with various rocks, and we can see this wonderful light coming across here to illuminate the uh, the opposite side of the valley. That's coming through where Three Tarns is, just at the top of the band there, as you ascend uh, Bowfell. And we've got crinkle crags to the right but yeah just this nice you can see obviously the uh, the rocks in the foreground there very nice and again just zooming in onto uh, the scarfell range there and we can see this uh, panoramic crop again just keeping a little bit of the um of the foreground in there that's um you crag i think or you no sorry it's you bank um that that crag in the foreground and then we've obviously got the higher fells above but yeah just wonderful light you can see the lights getting a little bit more harsh now still very good but not as soft as the uh, the light from earlier and again just looking back over to Bowfell with Bowfell links there and this wonderful light coming through I just love scenes like that it's just that the light can almost you know it can change the the texture and the contours it just gives it another dimension what you don't get in almost like this shadowless harsh light i just love this low 
warm side light i think it really does help bring out a, an image it is your best friend when you're a landscape photographer light it really does make a scene like in this case so i've got myself down low here and i'm gonna make some uh, hopefully a nice portrait image with these uh, fantastic rocks and there's a lot of nice colorful little uh, grasses and flowers and things in here so it's not necessarily something i tend to look for really but I th they just caught my eye this little orange uh, leaves in amongst the green so i'm going to get on and compose an image from here and uh, i will show you but i find it quite interesting how you can obviously you know take the much wider view but crafting something in the foreground is really the um the enjoyable part for me really i think if you can get um obviously a, a wonderful background what's very nicely illuminated and then we can go ahead and uh, and organize something in the foreground that's uh, that's that's the enjoying enjoyable part for me so i'm just going to spend a few moments looking at that so hopefully i'll find something and i can share that with you now okay so more practice with the wide angle lens and like i say just getting down it was these little uh, orange flower heads what i don't know if you'll see that on this image there just in the foreground what kind of caught my attention really so that was that was the driver what pulled me into that composition and uh, just trying to give all these rocks enough room to breathe from the bottom of the frame there in the foreground and then leading us up over this undulating top to that wonderful backdrop such a joy using the wide angle lens i'm going to have to use it more often going forward i think so there we go from the view over Scarfell. It's an abs it's an absolutely glorious morning and a glorious evening and morning. Real privilege to be here. Um, despite the midges what have been attacking me, it's now that the sun's up, it's been absolutely pleasurable from you know every second's been an absolute privilege to be here. So uh, and I'm glad to be able to share that we're here with you as well. So a bit of a an unusual vlog maybe. It feels like um it feels like a bit incomplete, a bit scatterbrained, but um you know my priority is making images really and uh, the vlog is a is a nice medium to share the images in, but it's uh, it's a challenge to do that when you you're focused on making the best images you can. So we'll see how uh, how it all comes together, but um again I'm really pleased to be able to share these uh, wonderful locations across the Lake District with you and uh, I've ended up here this is like my fourth location from you know I was over there then there then and it and it's just the exploration factor it's getting out and seeing things and saying do you know what I want to go and look at that and I want to go there and there and it's you know where does it end if I keep doing that I'll end up in Scotland by uh, autumn which won't be a bad thing will it but yeah I mean, who needs to go to Scotland when you've got views like that? Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, all right. Well, thanks again for joining me here on YouTube and supporting my channel and being positive with your comments and your likes and your shares. If you're not a subscriber already, then feel free to subscribe. There's new videos coming every week from going forward. And, uh, you know, I'll document my way of doing things and showing you my thoughts and feelings on the images and how I work. So, uh, yeah subscribe if you're not subscribing and if you like what i'm doing give us a thumbs up that'll be helpful and i'll uh, see you again on the next video all the best for now bye bye